As there are many multi-tools on the market, you may be asking what differentiates a great everyday carry multi-tool from a normal full-size multi-tool. Despite coming packed with functionality, not all multi-tools are pocketable, lightweight, or versatile enough to qualify as everyday carry staples. So in this handpicked guide, we'll be taking a close look at 7 of the best multi-tools for EDC that come packed with utility, equipping their user with a laundry list of useful features in a compact form factor. Leatherman's forged multi-tools in the USA since the 1980s, so no guide would be complete without this icon. The Leatherman Free P2 is a decades-long byproduct of user-centric development that adds up to a unique free technology, allowing users uber-convenient single-handed operation and access to its tools. The Free P2 maintains many hallmarks of a great multi-tool for everyday carry as a slimmer and lighter rival to the beefier P4. With a compact form factor at 4.25 inches in length when closed, a 1.3 inch width, a 0.65 inch thickness, and a 7.6 ounce weight. A balance of function and versatility with 19 total tools, and convenience via the true one-handed operation and Leatherman's free magnetic locking system to keep the multi-tool folded. For context, here's how it stands up dimensionally against the Leatherman Wave Plus, one of Leatherman's cornerstones and a benchmark in the multi-tool space. At $130, it boasts a full USAID-made construction from hard-wearing stainless steel, complete with dot-textured scales for grip and a branded removable pocket clip. And should you find the free technology not to your liking, the Leatherman Free P2 ships with an uber-generous 25-year warranty. As an excellent multi-tool for everyday carry, the Leatherman Free P2 affords true one-handed utility to its tools, like the set of pliers and the partially serrated blade. Though polarizing, this deployment and the magnetic locking system to keep the Free P2 closed when folded is truly unlike anything else currently on the market. The Free P2 opens with a quick flip of the wrist while securing one side under your fingers to access the set of regular pliers, needle nose pliers, the removable wire and hard wire cutters, and the wire crimper on the 180. What's more, the Leatherman Free P2 allows full accessibility to each folding tool from the outside when the multi-tool is closed. Once folded back into place after using the pliers, the regular locking mechanism keeps the individual tools in place. To unlock, simply press the locking lever by the magnetic lock with a thumb or a finger and disengage the tool back into its place. On the left side, or the side with the pocket clip, the Leatherman Free P2 sports a 2.76 420HC stainless steel combo blade with a straight and a serrated edge, a bottle opener and a Phillips head screwdriver combo, and a pry tool that can also serve to open packages. On the right, spring action scissors, a metal and wood file with a small flat head screwdriver tip, a 25mm ruler with a medium flat head tip, an awl, a can opener, and a wire stripper. And even though the one-handed operation proves divisive with a seemingly equal number of fans and critics, the Leatherman Free P2's convenience is enough to snag our pick as the best EDC multi-tool for one-handed operation. As an ultra-affordable best keychain pick and rival to the Leatherman Squirt PS4, the Gerber Dime is a TSA-compliant EDC 12-in-1 multi-tool you can find virtually anywhere for about 20 bucks. The Gerber Dime is a super portable unit with a 2.75 inch length and a featherweight 2.2 ounce total weight, making for seamless integration onto your EDC keychain of choice. Dimensionally, the Dime is most similar to the Leatherman Squirt PS4 or the Leatherman Micra at 2.25 inches and 2.5 inches respectively, the Dime's main competitors. And although it does fall a little short on functionality, it more than compensates with a price tag of about half compared to its rivals. For size context, here's how it measures up against the Leatherman Wave Plus. With a markedly tactical design and with torque screws and an all-black anodized finish, it's certainly pleasing on the eyes and would make a great addition to an already blacked out set of everyday carry. As a brief note, what you gain in portability and form factor as an EDC keychain multi-tool, you lose in build quality, so we'd recommend taking it easy on the dime, reserving it for smaller tasks or simply opting for a larger EDC multi-tool if your intended applications require a high degree of torque. The obvious and most divisive feature is the external bottle opener at the outer edge. If carried individually, it becomes a non-issue. When integrated onto a keychain, however, some users report keys becoming stuck or hung up on the loop, but we haven't run into this yet. Sporting a butterfly deployment, the Gerber Dime provides a set of standard spring-loaded stainless steel pliers with serrations leading up to a needle nose tip and at the base, a set of integrated wire cutters. With the same external accessibility as our first pick, the Gerber Dime's left side, the one without the bottle opener, houses some scissors, a medium-sized flathead screwdriver, a small-sized flathead screwdriver, and a file. On the 180, a retail package opener intended for cutting through plastics, and a 1.5-inch blade. For obvious reasons, namely accessibility and its available features in relation to its pint-sized profile, the Gerber Dime is our pick for the best EDC keychain multi-tool on the market.
If the name's any indication, the SOG Power Pint packs a punch in relation to its 5-inch total length, 4.2-ounce weight, and a total tool count of 18. With some unique value props hard to ignore and a middling form factor, it secures Arpic as the best compact multi-tool for EDC. It's held in high regard in the EDC space for a few main reasons, rivaling many full-size counterparts. First, as one of its standout features, SOG packs in a larger set of pliers than other similarly sized multi-tools currently available, while keeping the same quantity of tools around the outer edges. Second, the power pint integrates a quarter-inch bit driver opposite the pliers, and third, its full stainless steel construction was purpose-built around EDC applications, housing unique tools like a protractor, jewelry driver, and a ruler apart from 15 other tools. Aided by SOG's compound leverage system, the power pine is about as easy to open and close as it gets, with a smooth articulation rather than individual halves that successively lock into place. This also allows a partial one-handed deployment similar to the Leatherman Free P2 if needed, although it's far less maneuverable single-handedly than the Free P2 in this manner, so keep that in mind. The leverage system is also found on SOG's other offerings, and in this case, the tech aids and compensates for the leverage you'd expect from a full-size multi-tool when using the pliers. Despite its middling size and weight, there are 18 available tools at your disposal, rivaling many full-size multi-tools currently occupying the market, making it an undeniable crowd-pleaser for EDC at a price tag of just $50. Along with the SOG-branded pocket clip on the frontmost face, the power pint packs in a set of needle-nose pliers, regular pliers, wire cutters, hard wire cutters, a wire crimper, and a wire stripper when opened, a 420HC knife, a 420HC serrated knife, a saw, a spring action set of scissors, an 8 inch ruler, a can opener, a bottle opener, a wooden metal file, a diamond coated file, a medium screwdriver as its most unique feature, and a small hex bit driver at the very top. Despite its convenience and laundry list of features, users may find the tool locking mechanism antiquated or even inconvenient, as one has to unfold as if opening the pliers and push down on the black locking mechanism to swivel the tools back into place. This largely necessitates two-handed operation and can hugely mitigate convenience as a result. So keep this in mind if you intend to EDC this multi-tool. As our second Leatherman pick, the Leatherman Wave Plus is a tried and true classic. 2018 saw the Leatherman Wave Plus updated from the 1998 version, and it now sports more EDC-friendly features like replaceable wire cutters over the previously integrated units, and sports 18 external tools, some of which can be accessed single-handedly when folded shut. Widely considered the Just Get This EDC multi-tool option, backed by a near quarter century of evolution, the Leatherman Wave Plus may just be the best EDC multi-tool currently available, so for now, it'll take our pick as such. If we were to synthesize the many reasons why this is considered to be the best multi-tool made for everyday carry, or the best multi-tool period, it could be summed up by the word balance. First, because of its size and weight. Although larger than some of our other picks, the Leatherman Wave Plus sits comfortably in the middle of Leatherman's lineup dimensionally at 4 inches in length when closed and 8.5 ounces in hand. Second, because of its material. The 420HC is a hard-wearing, time-tested stainless steel great for an affordable yet durable EDC multi-tool. It's not the most expensive steel currently produced, but the balance between price and durability is about as good as it gets. Lastly, because of its features for a $100 price tag. A sheath instead of a pocket clip, 18 total tools with versatile utility, and an all-locking mechanism for the inner and outer tools for utmost safety and use, and the ability to open the external tools with a single hand all add up to near EDC perfection. When opened, either by single-handedly flipping the multi-tool or using a traditional two-handed operation, which we'd recommend in this case, the Leatherman Way Plus sports regular and needle-nose pliers and replaceable wire and hardwire cutters, a valuable update from the OG Wave and the reason for the Plus delineation. As a note, replacements run less than $20 through Leatherman if you're anticipating heavy use and can be swapped out in a matter of minutes. Also accessible from the interior, a large bit driver, a bottle opener, a can opener, and a wire stripper on one side, and on the 180, an 8-inch ruler, a small bit driver, a medium flathead screwdriver, and a small pair of spring action scissors. Like the externally accessible tools, the interior units also sport locking technology for operational safety. When closed, the rest of the features deploy from the exterior, including a 420HC knife, a 420HC serrated knife, a saw, and a wood and metal diamond-coated file. So at $100, backed by a quarter-century warranty and a full US-made construction, the pocketable Wave Plus musters insane value as an evolution over the original Wave and secures our top spot as the best overall EDC multi-tool. 
Like Leatherman, no multi-tool guide is complete without the inclusion of a Swiss Army knife selection. So ubiquitous for function and versatility, the Swiss Army moniker has even secured its own verbiage in modern speech to describe anything or anyone with well-rounded and or useful attributes. Victorinox is currently celebrating 125 years of rich history. So the classic Victorinox compact Swiss Army knife is a fitting inclusion as a true heritage multi-tool that's maintained its relevance far longer than any of our other picks in this guide. Victorinox is an absolute icon, and this version of their Swiss Army knife is a classic 3.6 inch, 2.3 ounce multi-tool with 15 total functions, even packing in some full-size tools in a compact form factor. For example, here's some size reference against the Leatherman Way Plus. In case you're not familiar with what this compact classic has to offer, we'll highlight its features and then briefly overview why the Victorinox Compact still wears the crown as the best Swiss Army knife multi-tool for EDC. Its features include a removable pin, toothpick and tweezers, spring action scissors, a bottle and can opener, a mini 1.5mm and a regular 5mm screwdriver, a classic Swiss Army blade, and a handy pressurized ballpoint pen, a corkscrew, and a multi-purpose hook. While there are many knockoffs and wannabes on the market that have mimicked what Victorinox has designed, for a $59 price tag you're paying for a well-worn, well-regarded multi-tool refined from decades of feedback since the mid to late 1800s. And in case you haven't already been handed what is surely one of the most popular generational heirlooms and considering a purchase, you can rest assured its function and form is absolutely dialed, making the Victorinox Compact our pick as the best Swiss Army knife multi-tool. Evolving what was already a massive hit in the EDC multi-tool space with the Gerber Center Drive, the fully made in the USA Center Drive Plus EDC multi-tool now sees the addition of spring-loaded scissors, a new tool finish, and a markedly premium branded leather sheath. EDC multi-tool users loud their toolkits for versatility and pocketability, but it's equally important to reflect on the specificities that make each multi-tool the right choice for you, as it's not a one-size-fits-all deal. As the Gerber Center Drive Plus is 4.7 inches long and about 9.5 ounces, and it comes without a pocket clip, some may disagree about the practicality of this multi-tool size, weight, and configuration for everyday carry. But it makes our list as simply the most innovative, building upon the success of the center axis driver for which this model is praised, now 30% longer for even more hardwearing utility. For dimensional context, here's how it shapes up against the Leatherman Wave Plus. The Gerber Center Drive Plus makes use of the center axis driver in the company of 14 other full-size tools, including a much requested pair of spring action scissors, spring-loaded needle nose pliers via a sliding X-channel rail system, replaceable carbide wire cutters and strippers, a 3.25-inch semi-serrated blade, an awl, a file, and a dozen flathead and Phillips head bits to use with the center axis driver. As we mentioned previously, the Gerber Center Drive Plus pushes toward a more full-size multi-tool, shipping with a sheath instead of a pocket clip, a near 10-ounce weight, and a $155 price tag. However, since multi-tools are first and foremost utilitarian, Intended application is king, and the center axis driver massively improves torque when compared against its rivals that simply integrate a low-profile bit driver into the top of the multi-tool like the SOG PowerPoint, for example. So this unique feature integration along with a handy set of scissors is enough for an inclusion on an EDC list. Additionally, the OG Center Drive featured a standard 3-inch folding blade, while the Center Drive Plus offers a 2-in-1 partially serrated unit so you don't have to keep flipping back and forth between different blades, which ends up saving time and affords more safety in the process. The addition of the spring action scissors allows the Center Drive Plus to rub shoulders with other multi-tools on our list, but the pair are markedly sturdier than the others, like the thinner and more fragile ones on the Victorinox Compact, for example. It's quite obvious that the notable heft of the blades play a role here, which is a great choice by Gerber, as it seems many multi-tools skimp on the quality here just to say they offer this as an added convenience. Lastly, the most notable feature of the Center Drive Plus would be the needle nose pliers with replaceable carbide wire cutters, a spring-driven unit with a unique X-channel rail system or sliding jaws, allowing users to single-handedly snap the pliers into place without having to flip the multi-tool open, another standout feature within our EDC multi-tool guide. In hand, aided by the spring action system, the usability of the Center Drive Plus is comfortable and ergonomic, which are insanely important for grip strength and torque. But the sliding action itself isn't nearly as smooth as it's marketed in our experience. It would often become stuck along the track, necessitating two hands to eventually deploy the pliers. This may ease up over time with use, but we figured it worth sharing. 
To summarize, the Gerber Center Drive Plus focuses on a number of bolstered features that would make it the obvious choice for anyone with a blue-collar day-to-day trade that also wouldn't mind holstering this on the hip via the Berry compliant leather sheath. The Gen 2 Center Drive Plus also packs a plethora of full-size tools, largely unmatched at this price point, making it our pick as the most innovative EDC multi-tool. As we realize and can appreciate that there are a growing number of EDC multi-tool users that account for beautiful design and tandem to utility when considering a purchase, our honorable mention is the James brand the Ellis, an EDC unit that cleanly balances form and function with a minimalist air and a half dozen standard tools. At 3.5 inches long and 2.6 ounces, it's most similar in dimension and use function to our Victorinox compact pick with a single channel design, the absence of pliers, and with all the tools unfolding around a central access point and secured via a slip lock system. Stacking up against the Leatherman Way Plus, it's an all around modest size for a multi tool. In addition to the 2.6 inch Sandvik 12C27 draw point blade, the newest edition of the Ellis also integrates a pair of ergonomic spring action scissors with a uniquely designed fulcrum like spring mechanism, an all things scraper, a pry bar. The deep carry wire clip is also a standout design compared to our other picks that offers a higher degree of flexibility, which we found great for a truly on the go pocketability without any fuss. As our design focused best minimalist pick with equal parts simple utility, the Ellis is offered in 7 color combinations of differing handle types offered in G10 or micarta scales and 2 blade finishes, straight or partially serrated, making the Ellis a beautiful and fully customizable minimalist EDC multi-tool.